The following video is copyright in part or in full, but may be used so long as my name, Link Knight, or Mr. Link Knight, is mentioned. There should be another little message appearing on the screen about now. Okay, you may have seen a cardboard church in Cross Church, New Zealand. It was made of cardboard tubes and had a completely plastic roof. What I'm sitting in here is a miniature portable house. The floor is made of timber. The bed frame is made of timber. There is a very minimal amount of structural timber. One, two, three. But the rest is all cardboard. Disposable cardboard house. How do you like to have a house that if the cat pissed inside, if there's a bit too much cigarette smell, if the colours and decor were starting to look a bit old and daggy, it doesn't matter. You can just get it recycled and get a new one next year. So there's everything in this except a toilet, a shower and a laundry and a bath. So let's have a little bit of a look around. Before that, this is the aluminium strength cardboard product I was talking about in the cardboard strength video. The stuff used in the cardboard strength video to hold my weight is what is used in the roof and the walls of this building. And the tape folds out the way too. There's a little bit of underbed storage there. Uh, it's got a fan for cooling. Oil heating using canola oil. It's got LED lights. We're actually supplementing the lighting at the moment just for filming. A little portable stove and a range hood. Now all that is powered by a battery in here that's got a charge controller in there as well. And I'll show you the solar panel in a little while. There's a bit of shelving. That there has a water tank inside for the sink. Uh, the lighting's not good, but there you go. Now, unfortunately, this sink, I rushed it a little bit um, and I sort of didn't get enough waterproof coating on a few parts of the S bend, but all of this is cardboard. I mean, the plumbing and everything with waterproof coating on the cardboard. Unfortunately, I skimped a little bit and rushed a bit on one part of the S bend, the lower part, and then there was a slow leak, and that slow leak was basically starting to destroy the cardboard that was there for structural purposes to hold the weight of the water in the sink and the weight of the water in the S-Bend. And unfortunately, I tried to fix it and made it even worse. There's the door. It's a sliding door, but my gosh, I should have done a better job on the door. It's not that great. There is a paper mache cast of a Black Panther footprint. Oh, the Black Panther doesn't exist. Yeah, sure it doesn't. Not that a cardboard house is either. There's the grey water outlet for the sink. There's the rain shoot outlet. There's the window with a bit of fiberglass stock on it to help with dissipation of the light. And there is the solar panel. That's all mounted on skids. And even has a loop at the front so you can put your hook through it and load it on the back of a tilt tray truck because it is a portable building. This is all waterproofed quite heavily. That's one brand of waterproofing and I ran out and I had to change to this brand. Uh, looks a bit rough but you know it's a prototype and with the first prototype things are usually quite rough. But there you go. That's something that you would have never expected to see this morning I'm sure.